What's cracking Jump Nation family? It's your boy here, Rushi S, aka The Jump Rope Coach. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how I train my clients and get them flying like bosses. So stick around after that intro, and I'm gonna get it, as always. Peace. And I'm like, hello, it's good to finally let go. I ain't worried about it. I just like to keep it mellow. Yeah, I like to keep it mellow. I smoke and keep it mellow. I drink and keep it mellow. Every day I keep it mellow. Every day I keep it mellow. I smoke and keep it mellow. I drink and keep it mellow. Every day I keep it mellow. Every day I keep it mellow. I have a slightly different kind of edit planned for you today. Uh, last Saturday, I trained a couple of new clients, uh, two sisters who are super cool, um, and you're gonna be seeing a lot of them in today's video. But what I wanted to do is, I wanted to kind of come back from that day to here to really share with you how I train my clients. And I'm doing this for two reasons, guys. Um, one is the fact that so many of you have been watching this channel for a number of months or even years and getting your friends into skipping. And it's a way of kind of communicating like my thought process on how I train people and how I get the most out of the workouts and sessions and how I get the best out of them. Uh, and secondly, I just wanna make sure that you guys, when you are training your friends or even for yourselves um, who are beginners out there, you really get a chance to see like how I can break people out of bad habits and the reasoning kind of why I'm doing it. Um, for me, I follow four really key simple steps on all my training sessions and I'm gonna share it with you on this video. So sit back, relax, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Do give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below as always and I'll see you guys back here in a tick. Yes guys, what is cracking? It is now currently 11.15 a.m. I'm here at Canary Wharf. Pretty dry day, man, I hope it stays like this. Um, but this is not quite a vlog, guys. I'm gonna try and um, document, keep it raw, show you guys a training session. I've got a couple of new clients that I'm uh, training today. They're sisters, they're really interested in skipping and how to uh, kind of incorporate into their workouts. And I think they're doing a little bit themselves. So I'll get them on camera to introduce themselves in a bit. You're not gonna believe this. Um, so I think they're on their way. I got here first for the first time. I still turn up a little bit late, but I'm, I'm earlier than someone else, which is good. If you're not gonna believe this, I need to quickly run and go find a toilet. Usual situation, I don't know if it's the coffee, had a bit of water as well to be fair on the journey. Typical man. He's got for the day. He's gonna chew your hat. That's all right. What is he what chewing? Is he, cute? Is, he, is he peeing on my hoodie? Why are you peeing on his hoodie? Yeah, Oi. <laughs> oh, bye, Milo. Is he just eating everything? Milo. Yeah. Thank you so much. No worries, man. Yeah. That is so kind of you. Thank you so Thank much. It's so good. Like next time, I'll actually bring, you know. I did bring me what? I was bring some a muffin. Bring some it's a good. It's a good time to introduce yourself. Actually, bring some bakes. What do you do? <laughs> My name's Ruby, and I tend to eat a lot of cakes. That's what I do. Yeah. Yeah. And a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. So I bake a lot. I was on the Great British Bake Off. I was on the final. In That's a big show, by the way. If anyone's watching abroad. <laughs> That's like a massive show. I never watched um, it by the way, but... If you're into cakes, then you should definitely yeah. check it out. Definitely check it out. Little but yeah, today, <laughs> yeah. um, here to up my skipping Up your skipping game, yeah? Yeah, definitely. How long have you been skipping for, so they know? How long have we been skipping? Maybe about two years. Two years. But like, not like your style skipping. <laughs> I mean like... We'll you know, get you there, we'll get you there. We'll see what happens. As long as I don't slap myself in the face, I'll be happy. Cool, so we've got Ruby here, and then we've got Ruby's sister. Hi! Introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Sonia. Nice to meet you all. <laughs> I am CEO of a company called Soulfit Global. It's all about coaching and therapy. I've been doing that now for a good couple of years. I'm your way here. Find me on Instagram. You'll find me there. That's it. So you but, help you help people. I basically I'm like a magician. Magician. That's yeah, I'm it. like a magician. I'll help people's problems disappear, but I'll also help you progress and perform like a gangster. Love that. The aim of the game is to get these girls flying like bosses. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna it's show gonna me you're gonna show me what a magician I am at teaching. Yeah? <laughs> don't let me down, girls. Don't let me down. So it's important to note when you are training a client, and something that I want to express on this video is the fact that there's gonna be so many different kind of school of thoughts on how people should skip. You've obviously got the kind of freestyle movement going on. You've got the speed skippers, you've got the CrossFit style, you've got the pure fitness style, and then you've got kind of like what I like to call my style, which is kind of mixed breed between the kind of boxers, kind of skipping, then you've got the fitness skipping, and you've got a couple of tricks in there as well. And my style is really based around transitions and movements and getting the most out of your rope and workouts and at the same time having a lot of fun. So um, I'm not saying that you have to follow this kind of school of thought or my, my way of training, but the reason why I love to train like this, guys, is because I've seen so many good benefits um, and good positive results from my clients and my training sessions. The main thing is you really wanna get someone out of the bad habits quickly. Like that is what you wanna really look out for, is the problems and the issues that they face 
before you start to really kind of coach them or before you start to train them in the things that they want to learn. So first things first, I'll get whoever it is to start kind of give me kind of like a minute or so, get a bit of skipping going on, show me what they can do with the rope. And from there onwards, that's where I'm gonna start building their foundations or rebuilding their foundations if they haven't got that bit right. I think I get better without my trainers on. Oh yeah, yeah, I used to be like that. Yeah, we just get good without trainers on a boxing. All right, so here's the technique right now, guys. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna change. All right, we're done here now, guys. Two minutes in. I've got them to focus on getting their elbows back. Makes the rope a little bit longer, but what we've done is added a couple of knots for Sonia. So I want you to point the, the toes down, heels up again. Yeah, nice. And then same with Ruby here. She's got a really cool boxer step going on. Nice technique. We shortened the rope and we got the elbows going back. And she's not tripping up as much as well. Feeling good? Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm Already better, right? Ready. Good. Kind of out of breath. Perfectly. Out of breath. All right, yeah, you can stop if you want. <laughs> now, the four steps that I really take in all my training sessions go um, simply like this, guys. The first thing is we're gonna concentrate on footwork. So I like to spend a lot of time on really building the foundations around footwork. And I always say on this channel that footwork is king. Uh, and, you know, this is, this is not just the kind of line that I create guys just to make it sound super cool. It, it is really the fundamentals of all skipping. In my opinion, if you are gonna look slick, if you are gonna make things look effortless, it always comes from your footwork. It's always gonna come from the ground up. Good, slow down, slow down, don't get quick. Good. How's this move? You find it difficult? Do you know what? This is, um, it is actually quite difficult because the coordination Yeah, this is difficult. needs to be there and... The main thing is you just take it slow yeah. And just get the timing Taking right. It slow really doesn't yeah. Make a Take it slow. Timing right. Just keep the rope moving. Okay. Don't focus too much on your legs. The legs will move. Nice. There you go. The second step that I always talk about is then balance, and we go into footwork variations which incorporate a lot of balance. So this will be typically one-legged bounces. Um, it will be making sure that they stay within a certain area and don't kind of deviate. And the key of balance is all about how you mix different moves together. And it's just as simple as that, guys. When you talk about balance and skipping, you see those people who know all the tricks and know all the combos or whatever it is, but they just don't look like they're in control. And most of the time, it's because their balance is off. A bit older, isn't it? I'll bleep it. I'll bleep it. This is good. Now learning the high knee, you're gonna skip and just jump on one leg. That's all. No high knee. Right, stay in that position. Keep that going. Now you're gonna start to drive the knee up and down. The one that's, yeah? Slowly though. How long does it on average take for someone to learn this move? So, um, look, everyone's different, right? I promise you. <laughs> I promise you, like, people don't sometimes get this at all in like a session. Look, all that matters is that you give it your best shot and you give it your effort. That's it, man. In my head, I'm number one. <laughs> Just stay like that and then change leg when you get tired. Good. There you go. That's it. That's the first part of it. Right. See, people, it's this it. is how it's done. <laughs> The third step of my training sessions will then talk a little bit more about coordination. So I might start to get, you know, some new moves into the routine. So we'll start to talk about uh, side swings in particular. That'll be usually the second point of call. Um, and then also maybe crossovers. And then when they learn that together, uh, which could take a little bit of time, but once we get them through the fundamentals of where to cross for the crossovers, how to hold the rope for side swings, it is then about just building their coordination. So it's using their footwork, staying light on their feet, and then being able to then do a side swing whilst their feet are still moving. And this is sometimes a bit difficult for certain people. So that again takes time. And that is why skipping is just phenomenal guys, because you have to incorporate so many muscles. It's a total body workout, of course we know that, but your brain is just working tirelessly guys at this moment in time. So just teaching these girls about the dominant hand stays on top. So that's the right hand on top. Keep the hands close together, nice and tight. So the reason why we did this is to make sure that the rope doesn't tangle, right? Then what you're gonna do is, Slowly, you're just gonna hop at the same time as doing this move. Don't jump through the don't jump jump through the rope. Just start hopping so you get the timing right. Right? You're gonna realize you have to keep moving your hands quicker as your feet move. Good. Shove you in the fucking canal. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even do anything. No. Just winding each other up, it's jokes. Alright, here we go. Oh, I was like tripping. <laughs> Did you see that? I thought this was a step! Are you enjoying the session? Absolutely loving the session. Yes, I haven't paid her, by the way. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, you guys, this is just so insane. I learned so much today. Irony is, I always yes. teach my clients to slow down to speed up. 
that's what we teach that's a line it goes without saying in here as well when you're learning the techniques just slow it down to speed it up and you get it there ruby well he's paid how are you get <laughs> <laughs> so what do you reckon how you get them oh i love it it's you're so good. good you're good no i love it it's so good it's really good to actually learn decent technique i've kind of realized what i thought was i was all right at i'm uh -huh. actually can be a lot better at good the only thing i'm not really good too good at is catching my breath <laughs> i am not getting tired <laughs> I am knackered, you guys. So it's good you're getting a good workout at the same time, right? So good. Yeah, well, yeah. Buffy's nice. good. a good coach. Honestly, this is, this is so good. bad promo. Look, it's a really sick promo. Stuff. Honestly, you guys. Like woo, 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 go rush. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth. Does that help that little tip I gave you? Yeah, massively. What are you doing? What are you changing? I'm literally now, my technique from like crossing just here. Yeah. I'm, cross I'm actually crossing all the way through. Good, yeah. So it means I'm not whipping myself. As yeah. well, so. <laughs> so look, that's good. Yep. That's not symmetrical. Can you see, like, this is higher. Yeah. That should be there. There. Yeah? Okay. It's all about making the loops. Big loop. It's all about the loop, people. The loop. You really need to nurture the, the client or the person you're training and to let them know that it's not easy what they're learning. Um, and they might look at you or look at me, for example, whilst we're doing the kind of demonstrations, and they might start to feel a little bit kind of, like, disheartened because it looks so effortless, it looks so easy, but when they do it, it's just awkward, it's just difficult doesn't feel right for them um, and they may start to get disheartened so that is where we need to incorporate the four step into your training sessions this is progress guys well done. Down, well done well done well done well done well done you get a high five my hands are proper sweaty yeah no no it's good how are you finding it how are you finding it yeah. you look at it on camera and you think yeah 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 i'll be able to do that really quickly um and i and i thought yeah yeah i'm gonna leave today no you, you have though you've you left you, you are leaving I a pro have to admit even it's just a small wins it's like, yeah, I'm like a step closer. You are leaving a pro, man. You got some skills. Ruby Rubes, the side swing with crossover, right? That's your combo. It might be like a different kind of combo. No, 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 it's, I saw it, it's good. Just have, let's have a little look at this. There you go. Smooth, nice. Oh, wait, then I fuck up. <laughs> wait, sorry. Good. Nice. There you go. Well done. Get a little high five. That was nice. Yeah. That was smooth. Smooth, Thank smooth, you. smooth. Okay, so the four step is really just about how you deliver your sessions, making it fun, um, and then also ultimately being a coach. You need to get into the minds of the client or whoever you're training and really drill it home that this is an important part of their learning process, which is that they're going to deal with failures. They're going to deal with the challenges. They may even want to put down the rope because it's so frustrating. But this is why skipping is so boss, guys, and this is why it's gonna make a winner out of them. And certain clients will react certain different ways, and you just have to really understand the client and really, you know, get that connection with them. 12 o'clock, so an yeah. hour and 20. How are you guys feeling? Killed it. Mate, I'm Killed feeling me, like I've had like the most intense workout. I mean, this is the best workout ever. It's yeah. so good. It's so amazing good. cardio. Topping up that vitamin D as well. That's it, man. It's been a nice day, right? Great, it's been great. So good. They have they have smashed it. Yeah, hopefully you're gonna come back for a second session. Always. Hundred percent. Hundred percent, guys. Day, See you soon. You know. Kill it. Bye. Yeah. Peace. Yeah, you took a beating, guys. You, the rope gave you a massive beating over the years, and you have to just learn uh, of a way of expressing that. That's all it is, really. You just have to learn how to express this and show them that this is a very long game. This is not going to be an overnight thing. This is not something that they'll learn in one session or one hour. Um, and that is where I'm really focusing my sessions and my time, which is to get into the minds of the people that I teach. And to, it's just, you're giving them that winning mentality, right? You're giving them that, you know, here's the tools, here's the kind of mindset, now go out and go freaking smash it. Like that is just what you have to do. Um, sorry, this chair is super creaky. You know, like I said, it's a different art form for everyone else. You may have a different style of training, um, but the key is guys, get them off on the right step, the good fundamentals, the good techniques, uh, we're trying to prevent injuries and we're trying to make them look slick and get the most out of their workout. So that is what you really should be focusing on. Focus in it, focus in it. That's what you should be really focusing in. I can't even say it. Just focus on that and uh, you will have amazing client sessions. I hope you found this video useful. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Super, super excited, guys, to see what the future holds for us, the community, um, and for fitness. I already know we're making history. And if you're watching and you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button and join us. Believe me, you will not regret it. This is gonna change your life forever. So guys, without further ado, I'm gonna check you in that next video. So take care of yourself, skip the treadmill, stay safe. Peace.